Shalom Yasharala, this is Yeshaya Back at you with a car chronicle Alright, it's luck I'm basically uh, Driving <laughs> Hence why I'm Half focused on the road for a second But uh yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all about this. Um, <clears throat> had a conversation with a dear friend of mine. Uh, she's not in the faith, uh, not currently. Never know what the future hold, but that's not neither here nor there. Um, she was talking to me about what she introduced as a hate group. And come to find out that hate group what she refers to as a hate group, I don't know that it's a hate group, but it is definitely something that I want to put a little bit of attention on. Um, the group is called ADOS, American Descendants of Slaves. I believe I'm 90% sure that that's, the, um, that's what that stands for. Now, she kind of weighed the opinion against a group of others, some of which are not members of it, but they are actual, you know, what they call African-Americans, right? So they are, in essence, American descendants of slaves. What, what I have a problem with isn't the solidarity among so-called black people. Because we call them so-called because nobody's actually the color of my car. There's nothing wrong with looking out for yourself first. Because that's the definition of really racism. Oh shit. That's right. There's nothing wrong with looking out for your own first. Your kind. Tribalism. Racism. Whatever, whichever way you want to call it. Racism is a word that you know, is, it has a negative connotation. But if I were to look out for, say, say I have a decision to make, let's say I want to buy a home and I have a choice of either a Caucasian realtor or a black or Hispanic realtor. And I pick a black or Hispanic realtor simply because, hey, they're my people. That's racism. Racism is love of or belief in your own kind, in your race. There's nothing wrong with it. You know, the brand of racism that we're against isn't so much that. It's against nepotism. It's against uh, <clears throat> um, discrimination. Um not even so much that because really it, it is discrimination but the brand of racism that that hurts people cheats people out of opportunity um belittles people that's the racism that we have to watch out for but me saying hey i want to do business with my own has there's nothing wrong with that nothing at all um <clears throat> ados they, my problem with them, my honest problem with them, is that they have a problem with acknowledging the truth, which is Caribbean foreigners have greatly impacted the struggle for black people in America to be treated fairly. People, names like Malcolm X, Shirley Chisholm, uh, Marcus Garvey. These names come up as people who have fought either for black people to be treated fair here. And I don't like the term black people. <clears throat> I don't even like the term American or African. But this is what these people are known as according to society, right? We acknowledge the actual, not the organization, but the 
American descendants of slaves as mostly the tribe of Judah of the Bible, but also there are and were black Indians, black Native Americans. And even if they weren't so-called black as far as the features, they are and were black by their, their, their ancestry. And we have to acknowledge them. <clears throat> and we also have to acknowledge the blacks in the Caribbean, which are the tribes of Benjamin, Levi, Manessa, Ephraim, and Simeon, to name others. Actually, yeah, that's all of them. And the, and the black people in Latin America, which is Issachar, well, South and Central America, Issachar, Zebulon, Naphtali, and Asher. And like I said, in America, you have mostly Judites, but then you have the tribe of Gad and you have the tribe of Reuben. Um, I know I missed somebody. I, I'm old. You know, forgive me. But these are all people that need to band together. Black Americans have not done anything on their own. I've already proven to you that the struggle for civil rights came as a collaboration, a collaborative effort by black and Caribbean people. Mostly black, I'm going to be honest, mostly African Americans. But Caribbeans played, played a huge role. And also, <clears throat> when you go back a little bit further in history, the maroon camps, they used to attack uh, slave caravans to free black slaves. While we also have to take accountability for the bad things that um, the, 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 the black and Latino slave owners during these same times. We had to take accountability for that. But African American people have not been alone in their fight for freedom. And now when you look at the modern day Hebrew Israelite community, we're, we're equally involved. We're equally involved. We're sitting here fighting our, uh, every day we're going out in the streets and, and many times fighting y'all, fighting other black people, other Hispanic people on behalf of the nation of Israel to gather y'all together to show y'all, y'all is the same people. And we need to stop this infighting and love one another and be kind to one another and band together as a nation. So originally I was gonna berate and curse out ADOS and tell y'all what kind of bitch niggas y'all is because a lot of y'all are. Really that belief makes you a bitch nigga. But the truth of the matter is, I love all my black, Hispanic and Native American people. Y'all are my people, whether you choose to believe it or not. And you know, stop the bullshit, man. And with that, I'm gonna say Shalom to Israel and I'm gonna say fuck ADOS and Kwam Yasharala meaning rise Israel. And when I say Kwam Yasharala, I'm saying rise to the to the actual ADOS, the real descendants of slaves throughout North Central South America and all the Israelite foreigners from other countries. Shalom.